a very bloody conflict is ongoing in West Asia. This is not the first time that the region is under turmoil. If we look back, we can see that the region was an epicenter of conflicts throughout its history. In this video, we are going to discuss this history. Levant is the region which is under modern states like Lebanon, Israel, Syria, Jordan and Palestine. We have to start the history of this region from BC 1200, the Iron Age. Back then, there were two Jewish states, Israel and Judah, in this region. The northern kingdom of Israel had its capital at Samaria and Judah's capital was Jerusalem. They had an independent existence until the 7th century BC. In 7th century BC, the northern kingdom of Israel was invaded by the Assyrian Empire. The Assyrians not just routed the kingdom, but also forcefully relocated the Jewish population of Israel to other parts of their kingdom. This disruption, however, did not affect Judah and it remained an independent state. The independence of the kingdom of Judah didn't last long. After almost a hundred years, this region became the subject of great power struggle between Assyrians, Egyptians and Babylonians. First the Egyptians and then the Babylonians took control over Judah. The conquests didn't stop here. A hundred years afterwards, the mighty Persian Empire had defeated the Babylonians and took possession of Judah. But they were more tolerant towards the Jewish culture and religion. The Persians allowed Judah to remain as an autonomous province under their control. During these years, Judah came to be known as the Yehud. It was also under the Persian rule that the Jews completed their holy book called Torah. The Macedonian Greek invasion of Alexander rocked the region in BC 323. But because of his death in Babylonia, his kingdom didn't last long. From the remnants of his kingdom emerged the Seleucid Empire which brought Judah under their control. This period is also significant because of the Hellenization that took place. There was adoption of Greek language and culture and there were also occasional clashes between the Jews and Seleucids. The Jews were successful in capturing Jerusalem. They enjoyed 100 years of independence in what is known as the Hasmonean period. By 2nd century AD, the Roman Empire captured Levant and there were battles between the Jews and Romans in which Jerusalem was thoroughly destroyed. Back-to-back -back revolts had almost depopulated Judah and it was renamed as Syria Palestinia. In the 4th century AD, the Roman Empire was split into two and the Judah came under Byzantine Empire or Eastern Roman Empire. By this time, Jerusalem became a holy site of Christians as well. After 400 years, in AD 700, the Arabs overran the whole region. They were not very tolerant to Jewish culture and built the Dome of Rock Mosque in Jerusalem. So by now, the city of Jerusalem has become the holy site of all three Abrahamic religions, Judaism, Christianity and Islam. What followed were the disastrous religious wars called Crusades, which lasted for almost 600 years. In the interim, the region came under the Mamluk dynasty of Egypt for a brief period before it was conquered by the Ottoman Turks in the 16th century AD. There was something else that was happening. The Jews who flown out of Levant during all these conflicts were facing severe discrimination all over the world. They were targeted primarily for their beliefs and culture, but Christians also accused them of betraying the Jesus Christ. The discrimination faced by them forces them to return back to their homeland in Israel. A thinking was going through the Jewish mind that they have to establish a Jewish homeland to escape the persecution all over the world. The World Zionist Congress asserted this claim in 1897. By 1914, the First World War has started and the region came under British control by 1917. The British government issued the famous Belfort Declaration in which they expressed their desire to establish a Jewish homeland in Palestine. 
the repeated migration of jews has significantly increased the jewish population in the region and this resulted in arab jewish conflicts britain has responded by appointing appeal commission which recommended a three fold division in this region an arab state and a jewish state and a separate region called jerusalem under the british control by this time the jews has found a jewish national council in 1928 which was doing all kind of autonomous governmental functions in this region by the 1940s the images of the horrors of jewish holocaust in germany was widely circulated and there was an emotional sentiment all over the world for the jewish cause after independence of jordan from the british mandate of palestine UN proposed a partition plan in 1947 to divide the remaining region between Arabs and Jews. This was outrightly rejected by Arabs. In the meanwhile, British left the region in May 1948 and Israel proclaimed independence immediately. The Arabs decided to wage war on the newly formed Jewish state. An Arab-Israeli wars happened in 1948, 67 and 73. Israel emerged victorious in all these wars and captured territories like Golan Heights, Gaza Strip, Sinai Peninsula and West Bank from Syria, Egypt and Jordan in the 1967 war. The first reconciliation between Arab states and Israel happened in 1978 in what is known as the Camp David Accord. During this summit, Egypt recognized Israel and Israel reciprocated by returning the Sinai Peninsula that it had captured from Egypt back in 1967 but peace was difficult the palestinian militants were fighting israel from inside lebanon and israel had to wage a war against lebanon in 1982 after a decade oslo accords were signed between palestinian liberation organization and israel there was a mutual recognition of both the parties and withdrawal of israel was envisaged from gaza and west bank Israel handed over both these regions to Palestinian Liberation Organization and in return the Palestinians agreed not to use terror tactics against Israel. In 2005 Israel withdrew from both Gaza and West Bank. But peace again stayed away because militant Islamic organizations like Hamas targeted Israel through suicide bombings, rocket firings and stabbings. In 2006 Hamas took control over Gaza. In 2017 United States recognized Golan Heights and Jerusalem as part of Israel and President Donald Trump initiated rapprochement between Arab states in what is known as Abraham Accords 2020 Arab states like United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia were signatories to this Abraham Accord and the bright spot of peace was visible in the G20 summit in 2023 as a consequence of the abraham accords an economic corridor was also announced between india middle east and europe israel was a party to this corridor but again before the rays of hope could shine hamas attacked israel again and now they are at war